Jimmy Jam. Jam. Special Forces 10 by 10 Wednesday. What? Wait. Wednesday. Yeah, friends. A rare Wellness Wednesday in the gym because Universe told us to take a break yesterday on Tuesday. So we took that break. We walked around a little bit and it wasn't like there was any kind of pain or any kind of malaise. It was just like, we should just take a break today. We can pick it up tomorrow. So we're still in the fast. And of course, since it's been a few days since we've been in here, we're going to hit the legs. And because it's not one of our usual days, which doesn't really make a difference, we're going to do some of the exercises that we've been thinking about doing, but putting off because they're a little awkward. It's like a combination between awkward and exotic. You know, they're going to make our muscles work a little bit differently and most likely we're going to wake up a few muscle groups. So the pattern may or may not remain the same. Special Forces Countdown and 10 by 10 to Failure is always in the mix. Uh, there's always a little bit of time for vanity and maybe we'll even save some for the gun show. You know the deal, you've heard it all before. Let's get into the gym, get the job done so we can get back to you with a report right after this message. You don't have to be a marketing or sales guru to know that one of the most successful marketing strategies on the planet is the reward system. And the same thing will work for you, especially if you are an athlete working out in the gym, exercising, trying to lose weight. Whenever you reach one of your goals, give yourself a reward. Give yourself something like a massage, a new outfit, or whatever, as long as it's not something that's going to counter what you're trying to do. For example, when you finally lose that 15 to 20 pounds, don't celebrate with a meal celebrate maybe with some jewelry if you're into jewelry or some clothes if you're into clothes or a trip or something like that something that helps you to move to the next goal and makes you feel satisfied and proud at the same time so Get yourself in the habit of making goals and reaching goals. And when you get close to the one goal, set another goal. And remember to take time to celebrate yourself, give yourself gifts and rewards. That'll keep you going. It's part of the self-programming. There's one of those fitness tips for you, one of those goal reaching tips. Good luck, gang. We popped it off today for a Wednesday work day special. And we did our regular protocols. We started off with special forces. And since the clock isn't working, we didn't have to worry about timing it. But what we want to do is get down deep in the squat on the Smith machine. So we did our squats on the Smith and that was a real experience. I expect some uh, muscles to be talking back to me in the next couple of days. We combined it with uh, front shoulder raises and 
Good Mornings with the Bear Bar. Then we went to the 10 by 10. We're still struggling with the, uh, the 60 pound dumbbells. Well, you know, I can't really say we're struggling with them because we got five sets of 10. <laughs> so this is 10 by 10 or fail. And I'm changing the protocols as we go along to give us a better workout. So we'll do set to 10 until we miss a 10. Then we drop the weights down. So we got a set of eight in set six. So we put the 60s away, grabbed the 55s and finished off with uh, what, four? Four sets of 10, so that's a plus. We combine that with shrugs and deep body weight squats with our toes pointed in different directions so that we activate different parts of the leg muscles. <laughs> 10 by 10 power leg extensions combined with shoulder work with just eight pound dumbbells and we finished up with hamstring extensions and one arm um, tricep extensions and all of that took us about two and a half hours and man I gotta tell you it was brutal before I wrap this up let me give you the soreness report and great to say it's down to zero. No soreness or pain in the shoulder, no soreness, pain, or ache in the elbow. So when we're repping the, uh, the presses for the chest, we can feel those muscles, those pectoralis muscles, and those various chest muscles activate, man. It's a really good feeling. It reminds me of back in the day, like 20 years ago when I was lifting. So that's the wrap. We're back to the old format, you know, face. There's a list. I compiled a list. I don't know why I put it up there. I don't think you guys are interested in you know, what I'm what I'm doing as far as individual sets and whatnot. But I put this up there because one of these days it's going to show up like seven years ago I was doing this and I intend to be better seven years from now but just in case something happens and I'm not I can always refer back to these and say man let me tell you 2023 I was rocking it out anyway gang thanks as always appreciate you guys see you next workout